Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm gonna show you a, a very useful website for your reference in arranging a, a mission in DCS Super Carrier, especially in spotting the aircraft on top of the carrier flight deck. So, the website's called seaforce.org and you can add CVN or limits here just to limit the search so here it come up the first one let's click here so this one is very beautiful website with a lot of pictures here you greet it already with uh, USS Nimitz 68 and there's a list of the ship here that you can select and several data here specifications this, this is general specification for Nimitz class and a lot of images so that's for Nimitz so let's go select Theodore Roosevelt VPN 771 this is also available in this year's super carrier Available model will be CVN seven one seven two seven three in the early early release versions, and then added seventy seven four and seven five. At later stage, I guess, it's still in service. This is also show the carrier air wing attached to it, mostly carrier air wing eight or CVW eight except for the last one which is actually CVW1 carrier air wing 1 so there's a lot of picture here so we look the one that mostly interests us in terms of arranging the aircraft on top of the flight deck so this is mostly cannot be seen clearly okay, it is starting to show this one is still not so apparent but this is very early also with Osprey ready to depart and this one is still having Osprey in the flight deck most of them are parked in the point and crotch area here very tight shoulder to shoulder If not mistaken, the picture are arranged where the newest picture will be on top. So this, I think, it should be already like FA eighteen ENF supply ship right of the CVN. Yeah, this one is still early morning, so mostly park in off position or the fentil. And here it shows catapult 2, 3 and 4 are ready to be used. This one is quite interesting. From on top of or the bird eye view, we can see most of aircraft is parked in this point area. I think they will empty this one. So catapult 2 ready to be used. 6 pack also three aircraft and the street are emptied so this aircraft can move via this pad finger there's and on top of the elevator four there's three of them and the rest in the fentil and in the this one is uh one two three two are on top of the elevator three Uh, this one is quite interesting so you can see here most of the time this e2 are parked here and this is the sulfate screen tilly and several hel helicopter here mostly but it's only one six pack occupied by four aircraft this is called the patio i just forgot about the name HO is occupied usually by three aircraft at least two on top of the elevator and the rest are in the fentil of the aircraft 
let's move further uh, let's find something with tomcats you see that's probably the right year usually that's the right year according to dcs super carrier setup so this is pretty new still i think it's for hornet mostly older pictures yeah you can use several pictures as your reference here this one is doable also though it's quite heavy uh, if you put a lot of plane basically aircraft on top of flight deck it will take toll to your pc performance just be careful it's pretty new pictures Okay, this one probably is still Super Hornet, but you can see this at least three Prowler, EA-6B Prowler here. Ah, that's a beautiful aircraft. I hope they're gonna make uh, at least an AI aircraft. Put here and activate for sequence launch. And there is a he several hel helicopter here. No E2D park here. We are not here. And in the six pack. Okay, now we start to find Tomcat here. Well, this is probably even older because no F A T C F A eighteen C can be seen here. So all Tomcats occupy the deck. They are very big you know compared to let's say the hornet which uh, relatively small so they occupy a lot of parking spots you can see here still occupy barely three aircraft fit in and two on top of the elevator lightly pack ordered i mean a lot of park equipment here train this is the aircraft uh, tow tractor this is quite nice if you want to replicate setup quite doable with three helos here or four actually and this one is definitely doable with several helo spark here i think it could be six helo spark here a lot of people though or personnel the, uh, the rainbow jersey and only several tomcats but this is definitely uh, easier to replicate and not taking toll of your pc so here one viking park here but it blocks almost both of the catapult probably it is very early morning still very early morning also okay now it's, this one is quite interesting you can see several aircraft in the flight deck some cat here three of them another four here and then this one one two three four five is hornets definitely if 18 c i think it's intruder 2e2d or e2c hawkeye park here one helicopter here helicopters and prowler intruder helicopters intruder one hawkeye here so it makes three on top of the deck and the rest is hornet 18 c hornet in the point and the crotch area this one is just for the parade okay that's it so that is cvn 71 i've seen cvn 7.3 also quite interesting this is modern one 
with F35B. Skip it for this moment. Let's look for the older pictures that gonna interest us most for this year super carrier. This one I think could be Super Hornet. Yeah, September two thousand fourteen, definitely. Sorry, I can see the. Oh yeah, one more. You can see here there's a very colorful uh, paintings marking. This is, as I mentioned, is Battle E Award. Another one showing Battle E Award. So, CVN seven three George Washington has received a lot of. Uh, Award basically in several categories. I forgot the each of categories. So I think this one is safety, engineering. I think this one and weapons. Yeah, the stripe, the line here indicates several times the the aircraft received the award. Okay, let's move further. This one can be Hornet no 2013 so it's super Hornet still let's move further back into around to the yeah this one is called a Fulture Rose you can see aircraft taking off and recovery from this spot see the older pictures for our purposes uh, they are mopping the the flight deck together okay 2010 going back further this one is still super hornet uh, so you can see the leading edge the the bigger the wider leading edge Okay, this one 2009 still already super hornet. Let's move further. Okay, this is the salvage train. Seahawk already flying, several S3. It's still 2006 so it's still pretty new this one is a clean setup although it's probably super hornet oh no 2002 is probably fa18c or here you can see it's parked in the point position opening up for catapult 2 3 and 4 three of aircraft here one S3 I guess you know, 3 and 1 S3 Viking here S3 Viking 2 Hawk I here and Prowler here this is also quite common setup in the morning so early morning before uh, flight operation setup so E2 C park here with a crane and several equipment there and Tomcat and Hornet are mixed park in the half area or Fentil area. It's also Tomcat here. I think they are ready for the operation. It could be a bad weather though. So operations in that weather. Okay, now this one is another interesting one so this one is av 18 c hornet park in the crotch area prowler is taking off from this catapult one tomcat here two hornet uh, one hornet one intruder i guess two intruder one tomcat s3 viking and hornet is parked or spotted backward so it's facing the street so the street are allow the aircraft both side from the coral and two elevator and from the six pack area to move to into catapult one. Catapult two is not used. And 
catapult and tree are open for all the aircraft from behind or from aft position sorry for ventil forward and then prepared behind this catapult three and four and then launch from so here is two tomcat they're so beautiful so you can replicate this setup also in this year super carrier three helos park here the two e2c hawkeye there this one has even two or three e2c hawkeye park here it's three viking here and several tomcat park well you can replicate several arrangement here very interesting very early for the operation Helicopters usually start from here, but in most cases in this year super carrier, if you empty this area, they will start here. But I think if you put a lot of static object here, they might start from this ramp. I haven't really tried to put a lot of static object on top of the flight deck. So it will be interesting to simulate the uh, fully parked uh, aircraft on top of the flight deck. Okay, so that is a quick uh, walk around the website called seaforces.org. And you can see a lot of picture here. Very interesting one to, to be an example when you try to set up DCS Supercarrier. Okay, so see you next time.